And I'm Paul Gilda live in Memphis, Tennessee. We're here with Diva Q. We're cooking some ribs southern style for Memphis in May. Weekend view starts right now. A live look at the World Championship Barbecue Cooking Contest, also known as Memphis in May. Paul Goodlow has his boots on the ground there this morning. We're going to hear from him live in just a few minutes. Some guys get all the good gigs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a Memphis. Paul Goodlow, he got the luck of the draw this morning, grilling up a storm. You don't want to miss some delicious dishes when uh, Weekend View continues. Uh, that's right, Viv, and we're talking about Memphis-style ribs here. I want to bring in the world-famous and world champion, Diva Q, my new best friend here. <laughs> and let's talk about Memphis-style ribs. We're cooking some Memphis-style baby back ribs. What makes it Memphis-style? Well, Memphis is renowned for having a couple of different flavors. One is a dry rib, and then the other is a sweet and tangy rib. So today we're going to do the sweet and tangy rib. Okay, now, people are used to cooking ribs, say, on charcoal, but not so much gas grills, but you can actually do it on oh, a gas yeah. grill as well. You know, one of the benefits of having the charbroil infrared grill is that you can actually make, and this is hot, this is a smoker packet, you mm -hmm. know? Um, you can fill these up with wood chips, or you uh, you can actually, right on the infrared grill, some charbroil, put them right there. Because they have the grates underneath they have the that grates don't fall through. So they don't fall through. And all the smoke's gonna come from there and give your food lots of flavor. And what I didn't realize is you put the wood chips on the heat, but the yeah. meat was on the unheated part. Or yeah, you know, so we're doing indirect cooking. So we've got one here that's on hot. As you can see, it's up high. Then we've got this side of the grill that's off completely because we're doing this low and slow. That's Memphis style. Memphis style. All right, let's talk about the ribs. And you're saying the key to getting flavor is to take the membrane oh, off. Oh, you know, there's this, this part on the back here, and it, all you have to do is just grab a paper towel, take it off. And what that does is when you open that up, you can get lots more flavor in with the rub and also the wood chips that we're using. All right, let's so, start rubbing. Okay. Okay, all you need to do is sprinkle on our charboil Memphis oh, rib rub. Too much? No, it's good. We're good. You know, because remember, you can actually season this a little bit more because we're going to be doing this over a few hours. So we've got one. And then on this side here, we're going to rub some mustard first because we want a heavier crust on this side. And the mustard acts like a glue. Um, and it honestly does a great job of help promoting that beautiful mahogany crust that we're going to get. So now you can go ahead with your rub. Okay. I like the, the spices here. So. Oh, it's, it's, it's going to be delicious. Feather it on. It's going to be delicious. So then we're going to rub that in, because I know you don't have gloves on, and we're going to make you a mess. Right, my manicure, I didn't want to. Well, you know, we don't want to mess it up, <laughs> you know. All right, and then we're going to go to the grill, making sure that we put this on the indirect side. So and you put the, the drier side on the heat. Yeah, exactly. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the next stage. Okay. After a couple of hours, your ribs are going to start so looking like you, this. Did you actually turn it over at all? I let it go just like that. On the bone side. On the bone side, okay. exactly. However, now it's time to pull this rack off. It's cooked for a couple hours. We're going to prep our aluminum foil. Okay. A little bit of brown sugar. A little bit of apple juice. Uh. And now this is where you get to really customize what kind of ribs you want. I like hot sauce. Put it on. How about you? Oh, yes. I, you I know, like it hot. You like lots of heat, so we're going to put on some hot sauce. We're going to grab the rack of ribs, and now, see, they're just getting nice and bendy. The and ribs the meat's kind of pulling off the bone. It's pulled back just a little. But look at that beautiful crust from the charbroil infrared grill. Tense it up a little bit and do it again on the opposite side. A little okay. bit of hot sauce. We've got some brown, brown sugar. Because we now want we it have sweet. enough brown sugar. Well, you know, we want that great balance between sweet and heat, you know? And the apple juice gives it a little bit of steaming property, so you make sure that you get really super tender ribs every time. All we have to do, Wrap fold it up. it up, goes back to the grill for a couple of hours. Okay, let's see the finished product. I know, you know, we had to They're keep it up. They're wrapping us up, so let's... Ah. How's that? There we go. Beautiful, ah. big, juicy grill. Now grilled that, ribs. That Look is at tender. that. Okay. Here's the test. All done on a charcoal infrared gas oh, grill. Memphis and May, you gotta check it out. We're back after the break.